So it wasn't that long ago that we were talking about wildfires every single night. And we want to get to our climate corner with Natasha now, who's actually taking a closer look at wildfires still burning. Hard to believe because we've had all this rain recently. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, really, last month was a banner month for rainfall, making up for at least six months in a row where we had been below normal. Let's take a quick peek, though, at just the last 10 days. Last 10 days, some pretty impressive rainfall totals. We're only a few days into the month of October, so month to date, we're at 0 0.34 inches of rain. And that gives us a slight deficit of just a few hundredths of an inch. Okay, that's fine. We're only a few days into the month. Going back to September, the last few days in September really brought us a whole lot of rain, and there were at least two days in September where we had record rainfall for at least two days where we picked up more than an inch on those two days, and that was right in the middle of September. Now let's do a review of the water year because this is really important when it comes to what led up to the massive wildfires that we had just explode over the summer. So as you might guess, drought has a lot to do with it. So let's go back in time all the way to October of last year. So all the way back to October of last year, we were seeing rainfall deficits. October, November, December, three months in a row last year, we were seeing below normal rainfall. Then we got into January and February at the beginning of this year, and we were actually doing really well. In fact, you'll probably remember that snowstorm and ice storm from February. Well, leading up to that, January was a spectacular month for rainfall, coming in at seven inches of rain. And at that point, a lot of us were thinking, well, this is going to be a pretty good spring. And then as soon as we got to March, we had below normal spring rainfall totals and a record dry spring going all the way into the beginning of summer. And we saw only a trace of rain in the month of July. So we were dealing with only for the water year, 30.22 inches of rain that came in at a deficit of roughly seven inches. So we were very dry. So if you'll remember, it was back in August where we had 11 uh, large wildfires burning, and that was just in Oregon. And now we're looking at six. Yes, we still have wildfires burning, but that's cutting it just about in half over the course of about a month and a half. These are wildfires still burning. We're ramping up on the containment, and eventually we'll be saying goodbye to wildfire season, but for now, we're still just a few days into the month of October. All right.